What's up guys, Imran here at Monster Gadgets. Today is Thursday, which means it is Tutorial Thursday. And today is episode number five. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you might be. A couple days ago, I released a video on five hacks in under two and a half minutes. It's actually two minutes and 10 seconds. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave it on the card here. You guys can go check it out. Uh, but I had a couple of you DM me asking me how I put a timer in my video. So I had another tutorial planned for today, but because you guys asked me, I went ahead and change my plan to make this video for you guys. So any of you who are looking to figure out how to put a timer in your video, stay tuned. This is gonna be a video for you. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Premiere after this intro. Alright guys, so we are in Adobe Premiere. I've got the clip that we're going to be working with on here already. I went ahead and deleted the audio because we're not going to need that, but basically you've got the clip and we'll go ahead and add a timer to this particular clip. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on new item and you want to add a transparent video. Basically what we're doing is we're adding a layer on top of our video. Make sure you've got the appropriate settings, especially the frame rates and the resolution. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as that since I did shot in those settings. And then we're gonna go ahead and move the transparent video on top of our original clip, adjust the size to match our clip. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and add the clock. So under your effects panel, go ahead and type in time. And it's gonna give you this time code under your video. Go ahead and click and drag that on top of our transparent video. And it's gonna give you this clock. From here, you're gonna do a couple different things. Number one, under the effects control panel, go ahead and scroll down to where it says time code. And from here, uncheck the field symbol. That'll get rid of this weird little symbol here. Just like that, and that's gone. And then go ahead and position the clock wherever you like. You can do that from here under position. You can move it around left to right, up or down. Or you can click on time code and basically move this anywhere you like. So we'll go ahead and leave it maybe on top here, just like that. We'll go ahead and drop it there. The next thing, you can go ahead and adjust the size of it. So scroll up and down to adjust the size as well as the opacity. So you can have a darker background or you can have a lighter background. We'll leave it at 50% for this example here. Now, two important things you want to focus on. Number one is the time source and the time display. The time source by default is media. You want to go ahead and click on that and put to generate. Basically what media does is it pulls some numbers from the original clip and it gives you this timer. So as you can see right now, it's 5956 and we wanted to start from zero. So we'll go ahead and click on generate and that'll set it to zero. That way when you go up and you play the video, it is counting up. And I'll show you in a minute how to make this count down. The next thing is your time display. This is, you wanna make sure this matches your frames per second. So since this video was shot at 24 frames per second, the default's 24, we'll go ahead and leave it on there. But if you shot at any other frame rates, you wanna make sure that matches that. So for example, if you shot at 60 frames per second, you wanna select 60 instead of 24 because if you select 24 on a 60, this time code will not properly work. So make sure you match it up with the appropriate frames per second. So we'll go ahead and leave that on 24. Now that you've got your timer on there, two other things we can do. Number one, if you wanna cut out the hours, since right now we've got hours, seconds, and milliseconds, let's just say you wanna cut out the actual hours because we're not gonna need that, and you want, only wanna leave the seconds and the milliseconds. So what you wanna do is go ahead and click on transparent video under your effects control, get rid of where it says time, and go ahead and put in crop. It's gonna give you this crop filter Go ahead and click and drag that on top over to your transparent video. Scroll down where it says effects control, and now you've got the crop on here. So if you move this, the left, for example, into a higher number, as you can see, it's cutting into our clock. So you can go ahead and get it as close to the cut frame that you want. And then what you can do is you can also click on where it says crop, and it'll give you these little points. And you can go ahead and click and drag that to the appropriate place. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. That looks pretty good. If I wanted to cut it, the milliseconds out, I can also drag this out and cut out the milliseconds. But since I want to leave that on there, I'll just go ahead and leave it like this. Um, so that, now that we've got that, now we're going to go ahead and have this count down instead of counting up. So what you want to do, so go ahead and right click on it and go to nest. Call it whatever you like and hit OK. Now that it's been nested, it'll turn green right click on it, go to speed duration, and reverse speed, and hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and play this. As you can see, it's counting down, and 
you've got yourself a timer. Let's go ahead and jump out of Adobe Premiere. All right, now that you know how to set a timer, you can go ahead and put that into your video, countdown for whatever you wanna do. Set it for one minute, set it for five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, whatever you wanna set it for, now you know how to. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.